In today's video, we'll be solving algebraic fraction. Now, the question that we'll be looking at today was retrieved from the most recent CSEC pass paper. So you want to stick around for that. If you're new to this channel, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. Alright guys, so this is the question that I want to look at today, alright? And this question was given on the January 2021 paper, alright? And they asked us to show that x over 1 minus x minus 4x is equal to x times 4x minus 3 in bracket all over 1 minus x, alright? So basically what they want us to do is to prove when we simplify the left hand side, which is this over here, will obtain this thing right over here on the right hand side all right so we are going to start off with x over 1 minus x minus 4x all right so let's see what we'll get when we treat with this thing all right so the first thing that we could do is to put negative 4x over 1 all right so negative 4x is the same thing as negative 4x over 1 all right what we can now do to obtain common denominators is to multiply this side. If we have one in the denominator over here, we can multiply over here by one over one. Let's keep this denominator here in bracket, just to be safe, all right? And if we have one minus x over here in this denominator, we can simply multiply over here by one minus x over one minus x, all right? And what that will give us now we'll end up with one times x, which is x over one times one minus x and one times anything will remain the thing. So we'll still have the one minus x here. And what we have to do now, we are required to treat with this thing using the distributive law. So we have to be very careful right here, being that we have a negative sign right here, all right? So we'll end up with negative four x times one, which is negative four x, all right? Then we'll have negative 4x times negative x, which is positive 4x squared. All right, all over 1 minus x. All right, and what we can do now, being that we end up with common denominators, we can simply put the numerator over the common denominator, all right? So we can combine both fractions. So we'll end up with x minus 4x plus 4x squared all over one minus x, all right? And what we can now do is to simplify like terms, all right? So we have x minus four x, that would give us a negative three x right here. Still have the plus four x squared over here, all over one minus x, all right? And what I'm going to do, being that we want it to look like this over here, I'm going to rearrange this thing, all right? So I'm going to rearrange the, the terms that I have in the numerator, all right? So I'm going to put the four x squared at the front, put the minus three x after, all right? And we'll put this over the one minus x, just the same. And what we can do now is to factor out what's common in the numerator, all right? And if you notice, we can factor out the x out of the numerator. And we'll be left with 4x minus 3 all over 1 minus x, all right? Does that look like something you've seen before? Of course, all right? So that's pretty much the solution. So there we go. We would have obtained the result on the right-hand side, all right? So we can say, therefore, proven, all right? So this would have been our solution right here. So that's how you treat with a scenario like this and this is where we'll be ending today's video as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet done it please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos as always 
Thanks for watching.